All right, class. Today's lesson is all about proportions in triangles. We have a couple of theorems to talk about. The first one is called the side splitter theorem. And it says if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides, then it divides those sides proportionally. We're going to draw a picture for this. So on your notes, draw this picture. If we have a side that's drawn in that is parallel to the third side, then we can say these sides are proportional. So if we say this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, we could set up a proportion that said A is to B as C is to D. Now there are several other ways we could have set up that proportion. We could say A over C equals B over D. But the key is that the segment has to be parallel to one side of the triangle and intersect the other two sides. Now there's a corollary to that one that says if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversals are proportional. A picture for that one would be if we've got three lines here that are all parallel. And we have a transversal that comes through. So all three of these lines are parallel to each other. All right? And then we have, oh, two transversals. Let me draw the other one in. And then we have another transversal that goes like this. Okay? We can say A, B, C, D. So A is to B as C is to D. Right? So you have to have two transversals cutting through parallel lines, and that relationship exists. We will do some examples using both of these in a little bit. Um, the next one we want to look at is the triangle angle bisector theorem. This says if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle into two, or if it divides the opposite side into two congruent segments that are proportional to the other two sides of a triangle. So if this is an angle bisector, so this ray, AD, is an angle bisector. That means this, these are equal. Then we can say that CA, which is this side right here, CA is proportional to CD, and then we do BA is to DB. So that's the triangle angle bisector theorem. So the key thing there is that you have to have an angle bisector to make this proportion work. All right, now, if you're still confused, these examples will help you. Example one, it says using the side splitter theorem, find Y. We see that MN is parallel to one side of the triangle, and it intersects the triangle. So we can set up a proportion. There are several ways to go about doing it. We can do 12 is to y, 12 is to y, as 10 is to 6. That's one way. You could also set it up 12 is to 10, as y is to 6. So there are multiple ways to go about setting up this proportion. We're going to cross multiply here. We get 10y equals 12 times 6, we get 72. Divide both sides by 10. And we will get y equals 7.2. And that is how you use the side splitter theorem. All right, the next one. This was that corollary where I was talking about if you have parallel lines and two transversals. So here are your transversals right here. Okay, And if all of these lines are parallel, which they are, all right, then we can set up proportions. Now we need to find both x and y here. All right, x is right here. Let's start with that one. What we do, we're going to ignore the 9 and the y for right now. We're not going to worry about those. We're first going to look at x, 6, 5, and 12 and a half. Those should all be proportional. So we can do 6 is to x as 5 is to 12.5. Cross multiply, we get 5x equals, and then we got to do 12.5 times 6. We'll just do that on the calculator here. 12.5 times, oops, 12.5 times 6. So we get 75. Let me divide both sides by 5. That gives us, I believe, 13. No, 
15. So x is 15. So we have found x. I'll leave the calculator up there. We might need it. To find y, we can use the 6 and 5 as our proportion. 6 over 5. 6 over 5 is to 9 over y. And again, there's multiple ways to set that up. We cross multiply. We're going to get 6y equals 45. Divide both sides by 6. Okay, so let's do 45 divided by 6. We get 7.5. So y is 7.5. So you just have to set up different proportions to, to use that. All right, that was the side splitter theorem and its corollary. Now we're going to look at the angle bisector theorem. Leave that calculator up. We may need it. All right, um, now these should be written in that these are angle bisectors. Those are angle bisectors. So now there's several ways to set up for proportion. I'll set up a couple for you so you can see all the different ways. We can do 8 is to 5 as x is to 6. Or we could do 8 is to x as 5 is to 6. Okay? Those are just a couple different ways that we can set up those proportions. We'll go ahead and solve the one on the left here. If we cross and multiply, we get 5x equals 48. Divide both sides by 5. We should get, let's see, 48 divided by 5 will give you 9.6. So that is 9.6, so that's x. All right, let's do one more. Letter B, it says to find the value of y. Okay, again, there's multiple ways to set up this proportion. I think I'll do 3.6 is to y as 5 is to 8. If you cross multiply, we get 5y equals 3.6 times 8. Okay, that gives us 28.8. We divide both sides by 5. And we get 5.76. So y is 5.76. Okay, so today's lesson is all about proportion and how to use the ang triangle angle bisector theorem and the side splitter theorem. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you an assignment on this. You're going to be doing page 400 to 401. Okay, and you're going to do 1 through 16 all, and 18 to 24 even. And that is your assignment. It will be due tomorrow. Thank you for listening.